Hi there, I'm just going to show you how to convert VOB files to MP4. Right, when you open a, a DVD, you end up with VOB files, you normally end up with um, stuff like this. Um, it's pretty obvious with the file size, which is the actual video files and which are the other kind of added extras you get with uh, DVDs. Um, so select your video files, stick them onto your desktop, it's very easier to get to, and open a system called Handbrake, which will convert that file. You can find Handbrake at this address, um, and it's both for Mac and for uh, Windows as well. Um, so you should be able to download that. Go to your source. Once you open the, the Handbrake system, find your source, um, your video file. You can only do one at a time. Then you want to uh, make sure you've got the system all uh, optimized. So you can web optimize, click that, put your format to MP4, um, and then you're basically looking for an H.264 video codec, uh, and that's really about it. Keep everything else the same as the original source, and you'll be fine. Um, start the video, uh, sorry, start the conversion, um, and then you'll get a bar along the bottom, and this is saying it's gonna take about three minutes. So I'll come back once that's complete. Once it's complete, there you are. You have um, your video file on the desktop, saves as an MP4, and uh, you then begin the same process for your other video file um, so there we are and that shall uh, complete once you've got your two mp4 files onto your desktop you then open a system called mpeg stream clip um, again this is a free download which is both uh, compatible with mac and windows um, so you can download that at that address um, but this time you just want to drag in order so, or you can even go to file and open but I just drag across in order. I want the files to be um, st stuck together. Um, then drop them in, and that'll open those files um, in the right order, so first half and second half. Um, once you're happy with that, all you're doing is going to File, and then Save As. Um, and then pressing Save once you've found, once you've named it, and uh, put it in the right place. I'm gonna keep everything on the desktop. Um, and it'll save as an mp4 if it was the original file. That will take no time at all. Yep, that's it completed. And now you have one file um, to upload to Coach Logic. And as long as it's under two gigabytes, that won't be a problem. In Coach Logic, all you have to do is go to upload a new video via the video room, uh, title it, um, and then you're going to take your date. All this can be changed at the, the end. Um, you can you can edit all the details once the video is uploaded, um, so I won't um, go crazy with the, the detail here. Um, and put your description in. Um, like I said, you can add the description in later after the upload. Um, call it what you want. And then go to upload video, search for your video, which is Hockey Match, MP4, and then press Open. And that will uh, open it and begin to upload. Uh, and depending on your internet speed, the video will upload pretty quickly or pretty slowly. Um, we recommend that you're plugged in um, through a cable rather than wireless, as wireless can sometimes uh, come on and off and you'll lose connection, which will come up with, a, with an error. Um, and that's that um, up in terms of the, it's uploaded to our server. It skipped the encoding stage because um, it's an MP4. So if you create an MP4, then we don't have to encode it for you. Um, and this wraps up, and you're left with the video on your um, your, your screen. Um, good thing here, good little trick here to get the video to, to fit the screen is to go to stretching as uniform first, and then toggle again to stretching as fill, and that'll uh, fill the screen. Um, otherwise, you want to maybe set your camera um, to, to HD uh, settings, and then you'll have a, a, a film that's going to fit that. So a 16 by 9 setting will let the film fit it automatically. Again, like I said, you can edit the details, um, and that is about it. I'll just save that. Um, when you're happy with the video, you can then go to Save and Publish. I'll save it just now. Okay, cheers.